never in a million years did I think we would be doing this video today. Yeah, I, I mean, <laughs> my, my thoughts exactly. We're all sh shook. Um, yes, I, it, that's that's one way to put it. And it's it's crazy because there's no real reason to be shook because this is a natural, normal thing. You know what I mean by that? It's not puberty. <laughs> I'm leave that in. <laughs> but I, you know, I didn't see this coming as much as as much as I think they were throwing out hints as much as possible. I was not taking the hints. <laughs> like, I'm not that shocked, actually. Really? Okay. So, but at the end of the video, I'm going to tell you what all might not be what it seems as well. Oh, dear. <laughs> conspiracy <laughs> theories. I was going to say conspiracy theories. <laughs> oh, exactly. No. So, I think a lot of people woke up to, I guess, woke, depending on where your time zone is, woke up or just saw this picture, and I'm, I already have it on the screen. This was some type of launch. This was a launch. It's a bit of a coziness, yes. if you will. Uh, a couple people, Beth Mead and Viv Meadema, um, are cozied up. Yes. So we're going to talk a little bit about this because, you know, it's. I think a lot of people are surprised by the developments of this situation. Because, but, you know, we got to go back. You know, this was a very unexpected situation, even though, like I said, there was... There was no reason for it to be unexpected, but I'll, we're going to get to some of those things. But first, let's go back a little bit because we never officially talked about Viv and Lisa seemingly ending things, not officially slash officially, yeah. because, you know, it over the last couple months, it looked like they had grown apart. Um, but we, you know, we didn't, Sarah and I didn't talk about it because nothing seemed official until now. That's why we're making the video now. And also... We were going to kind of talk about it once the Euros were over because some things were happening. Realistically, we have we ha we had not seen much of Viv and Lisa over the last six, seven months from about December. We really had not seen a lot of them. Um, I think Viv was in a couple We Play Strong videos and then, you know, they didn't post about each other on social media. It did seem like they had a grown a part of it. Lisa was with West Ham, not with Arsenal. So they weren't going to be at work every day together. But we made a video about this about two months ago. Uh, you know, it looked like Viv and Lisa had uh, grown apart. So if you remember, I believe it was in May. The I think it was the very last game of the WSL season. West Ham was playing Arsenal. And if you remember, Viv was there at least together. And they looked very much together. We made a video about it. You know, they were mm -hmm. like embracing. They looked very lovingly at each other. Um, uh, looking back, it looked as though they were still together, but still, even after that time, they weren't posting together. They weren't, um, that was kind of like a one and done type of thing. Mm. Then as Euro started coming around, you know, we, I noticed that, uh, Lisa just stopped posting about Viv whatsoever. So it seemed like even if they had that moment at the West Ham Arsenal game, something, they had grown apart in some way. So that leads us to the Euros. Euros come, Viv's playing. First thing we remember, Viv got COVID. You know, there was no, and it was her birthday. There was no Lisa post. Um, You know, that doesn't mean anything. I will say Lisa inst had been commenting on her Instagram though. So Viv posted the thing about her birthday. And if you look here, Lisa commented, on the in Viv says, I wish I could have celebrated in a different way, but thank you for all the birthday wishes. And then Lisa says, Oma, is that grandma? Yeah, okay, it looks like grandma emoji. So at that point, it did seem like they seemed like they were still interacting a little bit on social media. Uh, Netherlands played France at the Euros. If we remember, Lisa actually ended up going to that match. But Lisa was wearing a Jill Roard uh, jersey. She wasn't wearing a Viv jersey. And then after the match, Viv went up to Lisa, as well as Katie McCabe, because she was there as well. And it looked very awkward. At least, you know, it looked like Lisa didn't want to look at uh, Viv. You know, it was just kind of an awkward thing. And so, you know, it was like she was trying not to look at Viv. And so, and at that point, I just said, you know what? Officially, things look like they have broken up. You know, in my mind, it kind of sealed the deal, them not interacting much it seems like there's no bad blood and everything being in the public eye because I know when Lisa's at the game she knows all eyes are on her and you know she was there with Katie McCabe and uh Viv came up so it was awkward so well, that's... I mean they were such a such an iconic couple in the Wosa world right right so it's like 
it's going from that to, you know, it's hard. Exactly. It's such an iconic couple. That leads us to part two. Beth Mead famously this year slash at the end of last year broke up with Danielle Von der Donk. They were, again, an iconic two, iconic couple. They broke up and that was all pretty public as well. Um, we have videos about that. So if you haven't seen those videos, maybe I'll link them down below how Dan got together with her new girlfriend, Ellie Carpenter. So, so we know that Dan and Beth had broken up. And as we talked about in the videos, you know, Beth was liking posts about a uh, DVD and she follows Ellie Carpenter on social media. And she, she had liked posts of Dan and Ellie together. Not a thruple. <laughs> So it sounded like she was being so supportive. And again, they had ended things on. They had ended things on a positive note. Yeah. It still seemed like they're, it still seems like they're friends. You know, a lot of lesbians are best friends with their exes. Yeah. Like Sam and Alyssa, um, yeah. the YouTubers, they're a couple. I remember them saying in a video, I forget which one, but one of them, their best friend is their ex-girlfriend. Yeah. 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 But it's like their bestie now. But Sam and Alyssa are married now, and then the other one is okay with it. So yeah, and that, you know. I think that's not an outlier story. I think that's yeah, kind it's of, not uncommon. So it seemed like they had it in things on good terms, um, and so you know that's where it kind of left Beth. You know, and I think at the time everyone's like, I hope Beth is okay. You know, she's okay. I, we want the best for oh, Beth. She's okay. <laughs> mm -hmm. So um, if everyone, if anyone remembers, after the WSL season ended. Some of the Arsenal girls went to Ibiza. Ibiza. How do you say it? Ibiza. Ibiza. And if you remember on that trip, it was Jordan, Jen Beatty, uh, Beth, a couple of people. I'll put some pictures. But if you remember, Viv went on that trip. And I think at that time, a lot of people were surprised that Viv had gone on that trip. Because that's not, it doesn't seem like Viv's vibe. Yeah, she seems low-key, chill, in front of the fireplace, at home, watching yeah. movies. So. Or something like that. When she went, I was kind of surprised. But I honestly thought it was her, maybe Lisa and her had broken up. She just wanted a new, fresh. She just wanted a girl's trip, just kind of to be relaxed you know just wanted just a fun time now looking back at some of those pictures i guess i'll say this now looking back at those pictures some of them do look very coupley jump forward back to the euros okay so if all that backstory if no one knew that backstory maybe everyone's up to date now yeah but also it looks like uh, based on what we said that viv and lisa have been over okay let's cut to the semi-finals of the euros as we remember viv out of the Euros, gutted, absolutely so sad in the quarterfinals. She's out. But she makes an appearance. She goes to the game. She goes to the semifinal between Sweden and England. And I think a lot of people are excited to see her, you know, because obviously she knows Beth on the team. She knows Leah. She knows Lottie Wumamoy. She knows, uh, who else? Nikita she Paris. A lot of people on the yeah. team. So she's like, she's supporting. But, um, she has a a jersey on and so she's there and if we, we actually did a video about this and also i don't know if a lot of people saw this picture maybe i'll put it it's a me jersey she was wearing a me mm. jersey so i sensed and also right in this picture you can see uh beth's dad right over uh viv's shoulder so that's she's with beth's family beth's dad so then so we're like okay this is fun and games you know she's they're they've known each other for so long beth and viv they've known you know they're Practically friends related because me <laughs> made him a hello i know, I know. <laughs> no just kidding we just when we just did a video on this arsenal posted on their social media Miedema is at the game viv Miedema and beth mead so they are yeah they they combine their they put their names together in a cute little uh, like shipping like a shipping name like they put Miedema. and then i don't know if everyone saw this um ellen white and beth mead were doing an interview with like the lioness's chat show that they were doing and they were talking about viv being there and then they showed her on the screen and then they're saying oh viv's here and then one of the hosts goes she was holding a, a package of chips and one of the hosts goes oh i don't know about that chip flavor it's original original potato or whatever yeah. and then the other host goes well it's What's wrong with those? And then Beth says, <laughs> What's wrong with ready sword? Nice and plain, like Put it in a sandwich. <laughs> <laughs> I really hope oh, she's bringing his ass today. He's got. 
oh, they're plain, just like Viv. <laughs> and everyone, like, laughs, and it's a funny thing. It's not awkward. Yeah. It's funny. And I'm thinking, okay, this is, they're mates. They're best mates. They're getting a laugh out of each other. They're kind of joking, because if you remember, in the comment section, uh, Viv, Beth had put in the comment section, like, my my number one fan or my heart heart. Yeah. Also, if you have looked over Viv's social media, Beth has posted a lot of comments on Viv's social media. And that isn't uncommon for Beth Mead, though. Beth Mead is one of the people on Arsenal and Lionesses who is social media, all over social yeah, media. She stands everyone. And I love it. I love how into social media she is because, I mean, it's just relatable. They're just like us. Peace, you know. Oh, dear. <laughs> but she put, like, hearts on Viv's stuff and... um. She had been doing this for a while. Even Actually, I just noticed this too. Um, Beth Mead's brother, Ben Mead, he has been commenting on Viv's post as well. So it seems like B Beth's brother knows Viv in a personal type way as well. And I, you know, I just noticed that. So this isn't something that's been under the radar. It's kind of been there the whole time. But, you know, I, a lot of people didn't think anything of it. So it is time for the euros final everyone's gonna be there so many people are gonna be there actually i believe lisa evans was there didn't sit with viv but you think okay everyone's gonna be there so viv probably will be there given all the circumstances um so again because we uh, everything we know that they're you know best mates at this point you know and also you think about it if they've just broken up with other people a lot of times you bond over that you know i've just broken up with someone they were they were both in long-term relationships that's how you kind of bond. They 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 a lot more than bonding. But <laughs> oh no, no. That, that's how you bond with somebody. Yeah, yeah. Um, because you know they become best mates. You know, two broken hearts could become one new heart. Yeah, exactly, exactly. That was so cheesy. Please never say it again. <laughs> <laughs> and like on social media, a lot of people, you know, and Sarah and I, the last video we did, we're like, they're best mates. You know, it's just fun and games. Until the picture that was posted this morning was posted. Well, you were trying to make it a thing, and I was like, no, it's not a thing. It's not yeah, a thing. Yeah, I was. And then Maybe it's a thing. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I, I was a little hesitant on this video, and I'm like, you know what? Maybe. Now it's a thing. Exactly. Mm -hmm. So she posted the picture. And I mean, this picture says it all. A million words, just like Sarah's saying. The hands, the placement, everything that has led up to this picture, it's I, basically, this picture is trying to tell us, yes, this is real. Because I think what was happening is people weren't taking their hints seriously. <laughs> I think they were trying to throw as many hints out and people were not. I mean, that's daddy. That's daddy right there. Yes. <laughs> No. And so they said, okay, if you guys aren't, you know, this isn't a Sam and Christie level where they were making out after the Olympics, which I'm here for. You all know that. Oh, this was basically Sam and Christie vibes right here. I mean, it's 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 given some girlfriend. Yes. Something like that. Yeah. And then Beth's brother posted a picture of his family. He posted a picture of his whole family, all of them right there, plus Beth, plus Viv. I mean, mm. if that doesn't scream wag, I don't know what does. And then again, today, Viv was at the celebration in Tavogger Square, the big lioness of celebration. She was there, spotted, she took pictures. Um, of course, it, she's part British at this point because she played for Arsenal so long. Well, and she has a cute Scottish accent that her, her Lisa gave to her. Well, now it's going to be British. Now it's going to be a northern accent. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> and even Arsenal posted, you enjoy that best goal, Viv? My question about this, is Arsenal know what's going on and they're no. promoting it? That's why... My thing is, they're clueless. I mean, who who has to tell the club? Hey, club, uh, I'm with this person, so uh, yeah. That's why I thought it was so weird that they were, like, talking about it because... As soon as they get wind of it, they're going to stop posting no, about that's it. that's what I'm thinking, because... In the past, Arsenal, we have gotten the feeling that Arsenal didn't want their players to promote. It was very football heavy. You know, football is yeah. number one. So for the Arsenal to be. So that's why. That is why I'm thinking Arsenal didn't necessarily know. And Viv and Beth want people to know. And then I saw this comment on Tumblr. They said they seem to have a lot more in common than what I first thought. Both have been described as sensitive people because they have played together for five years and there was never more than teammates. 
But here we are, feelings can grow if you're both going through the same thing. Viv has also mentioned that she has changed as a person this year and that she has been opening up to her teammates more. So remember when Viv decided to sign a one-year contract with Arsenal? Mm -hmm. It was kind of famous that it was going to be one more year. Did Bev have a lot to do with this because she wanted to stay closer to make this relationship work? Dan left Bev to France. The relationship kind of broke up, you know, and distance can do that to a relationship. Who knows? But then one other thing, I saw this on Instagram and this account is called Woso Community 2 and it's like super, super famous. It's one of the go-to accounts that I'll look at stuff as well. So they posted something that says things that indicated that Viv and Beth were closer than we thought slash dating. And one thing they said was Viv attended Beth's brother's birthday dinner when he was in London. They went to Manchester together in May, about on May 20th. Uh, Netherlands versus England game, a fan, a fan vid of them walking off the field together into the tunnel hugging. Beth's post for Viv's birthday. Um, and I remember that post. Best was for visitors. I remember that post. So it seems like they're together. I, I never thought this would, ha- you know, this couple, you know, like, like this person says, they have been friends for five years. And sometimes when you've known somebody for so long, you know the type of person they are, you know what I mean? And you like them so much in the, the core of themselves. So, you know, when you've known each other for five years, you've played, you know, together, um, you know each other, what they are like as a person. You know if they're good, a good person. So, th- you know, that could lead to uh, fr- feelings forming. And also, Beth had a Dutch girlfriend for four or five years. She learned some Dutch. She did not want that to go to waste. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, no. What do you think? Um, I don't think she has a thing for Dutch people. I think she just has a thing for whoever she has a thing for. <laughs> That's true. What actually the takeaway from this is it seems like even though it is probably a little awkward for Lisa and Viv, um, they seem to be on okay terms. It seems to be they can be in the same room still and still be able to be cordial, if not friends. You know what I mean? Um, And I think that's a good takeaway, you know, especially everything is so public now with uh, the way everything's happening. And now and I know that. And now the spotlight's really on them, too, if, you know, Beth, what's happening to Beth and her career and mm. it's it's taking off. And it looks like Beth and Dan are still friends. So that's kind of the takeaway. You know, if you can be friends with your exes. That's hot. Yeah, you know, it is. And, you know, that's something really special because Dan and Beth and Viv and Lisa spent so much time together. They had so much love for each other. They knew each other's families. Viv and Beth, and they quarantined each other with each other for through quarantine i mean the thing with arsenal i think you said i i don't think they were in the loop of exactly what was going on conspiracy theory time okay do i think this is happening not necessarily but they're just trying to throw us off the trail because something else is happening (laughs) i don't know what it is but that arsenal post was really weird and the thing that beth said about viv being plain even though it was totally a joke and it was in good nature fun it was kind of weird too okay, you know? but what could that be you're, i don't know you're pulling you're i pulling straws here. i don't know what it could be you're getting too wild here with your i know conspiracy what does everyone stuff? think Were, was everyone shocked at what was going on or what is going on and I'm who being, still thinks they're friends yeah, and I've seen that online. You know, people still think that they're friends. I never would have put them together, but they look happy. And I'm so pumped for them. And uh, it's wild. And I'm here for it. And Woso gives me life. And I'm sorry if I get so hyped up about these Woso couples, but Too they hyped. give me life. Um, I will say I wasn't shocked. I'm not. It doesn't surprise me. Um, I'm here for it. And yeah, I... And- yeah yeah and if they're goofing on us they got us they got us big time um not april fools not yet what does everyone think questions comments down below and there's gonna be more videos about this remember our um sam and christy um so um saga saga let's see if there's a viv and beth saga and also beth and viv now both euro champions four years apart i mean i love it you know hey if that's what bonded them that's cool what is everyone in questions comments down below um yeah what everyone think was was everyone shocked i'll see how long this we have been talking for a half an hour so i'll see what i cut this video down to but (laughs) questions comments down below um what does everyone think and uh yeah we will talk to everyone later have a great day Bye. bye